Okay. Oh my God. Oh, and I'm really, really in the mood to play. Things get worse by Bob. Fusion and Eminem because things are getting worse. So. Lockdown is happening on the, uh, <laughs> let's see, I'm looking on my calendar right now, and, uh, on Outlook, and, uh, so Saturday, uh, the official lockdown is happening, I will provide the information down below, I have, a. Uh, uh, So I don't think there is a, and so the only thing that has actually uh, changed, I will, uh, yeah. So I have made a separate video. You can check that out. I have, I have, I have, it'll show up as a card. I'll keep sharing it until the 26th when it gets official. And I will provide the information. So, so today uh, we have uh, two thousand one uh, two hundred and two uh, coronavirus cases. Uh. So there, uh, that's that. Um, so we, this is an increase uh, compared to yesterday, which we had. 2,123 and so we have uh, just a just a reminder like some things that have still have not changed uh, you know several several countries uh, including Canada Netherlands uh, Italy, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Austria, and Germany uh, have uh, been blocking, uh, canceling uh, flights uh, from uh, the United Kingdom because of high coronavirus cases there. Prime Minister Boris Johnson uh, in the UK, he has uh, uh, made some of his like, lockdown restrictions, so yeah, people are going to be following that, even though they might not like it. Yeah. So this week, you know, the only thing that's, that has changed is that uh, Hamilton is in the gray zone. But guess what? All of Ontario is going to be in the gray zone. However, what's going to be sort of different is uh, Toronto, Peel Region, and uh, Windsor Essex Region are going to be following the, the standard rules. York Region has its own rules. Hamilton also has its own rules, which and they are very similar to each other. And there are like, uh, and then the uh, rest of Ontario rules are sort of. This is standard. This is for uh, asking for two weeks for uh, Northern Ontario, starting December twenty sixth, and for Southern Ontario, December twenty sixth. To January twenty third, twenty twenty one. So the rules will uh, be uh, some some rules be the same same as like the standard rules that Toronto Peel Region and Windsor Essex Region is to follow, and there's and some rules are like. Uh, and the, for the rest of Ontario that has to follow is sort of similar to the York York region and uh, Hamilton uh, rules uh, that are sort of similar different uh, yeah so let's look at today's cases first 
so uh, six, 600, 636 uh, cases, uh, high cases are, are from uh, Toronto, 504 is from Peel region, 218 is from York region, 172 is from Windsor, uh, region, and 101 is from uh, Waterloo region. So we're hearing stuff from uh, Waterloo again. So all other public health units uh, reported under 100 uh, new uh, cases. So this, yeah, that's one explanation. No explanation why we are like going to be all, all of Ontario is going into lockdown. So how do you know if uh, Northern Ontario and Southern Ontario? So this is sort of like easy to figure out if you sort of know where you live. So Northern Ontario is like sort of like Northern, like North, like around like Algon Algonquin Park and sort of like Northern and Algonquin Highlands and Cape Casing and uh, you know, you know, Huntsville. Yeah, sort of around there. So Southern Ontario is like basically like, yeah, stretching all the way from like Winter, uh, winter to uh, the Caledon, Caledon area, yeah. and to Barry, West, West Gwillenbury, West Gwillenbury to, uh, yeah. To Ottawa, and yeah, Smith Falls, yeah. Around there. So unfortunately, the death uh, number uh, has now at uh, twenty-one uh, today. People hospital. Oh, oh, I don't want to talk. So, so nothing has changed uh, with the rules. Uh, Red zone rules have not changed. Uh, red, no uh, other region has entered the uh, red zone. Uh, Waterloo uh, has its own rules. Simcoe Muskoka has its own rules. Uh, gray zone, uh, you know, standardized. Uh, Toronto, Peel region, uh, well, Windsor, Essex region, with Water, York region, and uh, Hamilton with own rules. Nothing has changed. Yeah, you can check it down down below. You know, there's like curbside pickup for like a business size. So, curbside pick pickup is well, that will be standardized for retail stores, hardware stores, and uh, okay. So, I'm gonna look off the what I've uh, seen. Uh, so, retail businesses, hardware stores, and department stores. Uh, there are uh, current. They cannot do curbs, curbside pickup or delivery. So customers will not allow to go inside to do uh, in-person uh, retail shopping. To do do that, you so uh, the limitations uh, for uh, supermarkets, convenience stores, and pharmacies is fifty people. Discount and big box uh, businesses. Uh, and that sells groceries can't operate, but number of pack capacities is like so 25% of the property capacity, so 25 people at least. And of course, the shops and malls, uh, they have uh, special parking spaces where they can pick up stuff and they can go. No. So there's that. Hospitalizations. We are at thousand and five uh, hospitalized uh, people right now, and uh, two hundred and 
273 uh, patients are in uh, ICU. 172 of them are in, uh, in ICU on a, on a ventilator, though. That's that's like over 50%. There's uh, no report from schools because schools are closed right now for winter break. Well, long-term care homes, uh, the death number is uh, now uh, 2,537. Higher than last time. Oh, 159 uh, outbreaks are uh, happening right now. Uh, stuff has uh, stuff has been uh, not been going going well with the uh, long term care homes. Uh, people have been sending. Uh, well, let's just hope there's some changes that happen. So I'm gonna continue doing saying this. Uh, no, rural regions. Uh, no, uh, asking a uh, gray zone, the red zone regions, not people, people not to visit, and uh, and food banks. Uh, if you can, yeah. Although I'm not so sure how well that's gonna work now after December uh, 25th, because. Uh, September 26th, uh, yeah, so, if you want to see, like, lower coronavirus uh, numbers by, uh, like, after, like, uh, just January uh, 23rd, uh, like, back to the 900s, uh, 800s, yeah, you're gonna have to commit, especially with the uh, all of Ontario going and getting stuck in a gray zone because of people making bad decisions. Yeah, no, that's that. Yeah. So follow coronavirus safety rules. Don't have a cab social gatherings with anybody over ten. You know, so use social media to chat with people. Don't have any activities with the others. Only going to central travel, you know, work, school, shopping, caring for uh, people, uh, vulnerable people. Keep your health uh, your first priority. Stay area with the coronavirus cases can be high. Avoid going to places if you're from a high case area. Great. <laughs> Try and not lower coronavirus cases uh, in uh, your area because uh, we are already in jeopardy. We're like... Because we're... Because... In a few days, we're going to be in a gray zone. So there's going to be a certain number of things that uh, you're going to need to do, and I got a video explaining that. Check it out. There, there's. I don't think there's anything more to say. I'm not going to do any uh, coronavirus uh, report then for Canada today because yeah, I've already got bad news to report. And uh, 
I'll uh, pin the video so on uh, five five of my channels. Check it out. I'll stay safe, folks. Celebrate uh, Christmas uh, with uh, only those in your household. If you have, if you're living alone, you can uh, you can go to like you know you can be invited to uh, at least uh, one uh, household. So there's you can do that. Stay safe. Have a Merry Christmas. Mark your calendars. Because December 26 hits. We're all in lockdown.